hope you guys are feeling in a cozy mood today because I have a feeling this favourites video is going to be quite long. I have a whole list of things I want to tell you and they're all really exciting including an event I'm hosting in London so hopefully that should be really fun. I just, I'm not, I was going to say that I was going to wait till the end of the video to tell you but I don't even know if I can do that because I'm so excited but Yes, there are quite a few exciting announcements at the end of this video, but I hope you guys are feeling snug. I'm in a little cozy jumper right now, and I just set up all my holiday stuff on my bookshelf. I think it looks really cute, although we did just have one of these guys here just fell into a million pieces. One of these little guys just fell and smashed into a million pieces on the floor. Oh, R.I.P. So that was a bit sad. So I'm hoping nothing's gonna fall and break behind me because, yeah, for obvious reasons, really. I have so many makeup faves. I got a tweet on Twitter the other day saying, has your makeup or like the colors you're using changes? Are you using more cool tone colors now? And without even realizing I actually had, I whipped out my Lorac Pro palette recently. I've always loved this palette, but when you try out so many new things and stuff, the stuff you love kind of gets shoved to the back sometimes. And I've whipped this out and this mauve shade is my life. Like it is so good. It's such a gorgeous plummy crease color. It's what I'm wearing in the crease of my eyes right now. It is so gorgeous. I can't even begin to tell you. And then I kind of mix it with, mix it with, I kind of mix it with the LT pink. And then I have these three shades, gold, LT bronze, and pewter, like on my actual lid. And the white and cream on my brow bone, and then the black along my lap. Basically, I love all the shades in here. This is, if I was going to recommend one palette, like if you only had to have one smoky eye palette, this, I just, but, but silently. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As I was saying, this would be the one to get. I don't know if that was a burp or a hiccup. Another product I whipped out is this Tarte blush. It's in the shade Doll Face, and it's kind of like a almost blue undertone pink color. It is what I'm wearing. I'm just double checked that I did actually use it today. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It's so pretty. I love it. I love the top blushes, especially because they're matte as well. For foundation, I don't know what happened to my foundation of this, but then the other day I was in boots and I had time to kill and I ended up picking this up because I don't honestly know what happened to my healthy mix. I must have lost it or left it somewhere. And I haven't used this foundation in so long. I'm the shade N53. And it's such a good one for dry skin. Like, my skin isn't even dry, it's just dehydrated. And it's such a good one for when you want a hydrating foundation that doesn't feel like it's kind of on your skin. It gives you a really nice, easy, light to medium coverage. And it's just so easy to apply and blend. And I love the finish. And I love that it doesn't feel really heavy on my skin. It's definitely one of my favorite foundations. And if you're looking for a foundation that isn't too pricey, check this out. What to choose, what to choose, okay. I'm going to Talk about lipsticks now I've never tried these Bobbi Brown art sticks to me I don't know why they just didn't appeal to me this is in the shade brown berry and I fell in love because it's basically like a lipstick and a lip liner in one like you can overline your lips with this seriously because the point gets to that precise point where you can which made me really like it but then it's quite easy to just like reapply it the formula lasts a seriously seriously long time and it kind of gives almost like a really balmy matte feeling on the lips moving on to the more matte kind of scale of things this is the sleek matte me i did a post on these ages and ages ago probably like a year and a half ago or something they're really nice affordable long lasting matte lipsticks lip cream kind of things and I love the Sephora ones those ones are my favorite but in terms of the shade range I kind of prefer the sleek ones and this shade is the shade birthday suit and I really like it and I'm not normally into these kind of shades you guys never normally see me wearing these dark nudes I'm more of a pinky nude kind of gal but this month I've been wearing dark nudes and I love mixing the two together I'm gonna do hair next and I've really edited down my hair care favorites because I basically have an entirely new hair care routine this month so I've really edited it, edited it, <laughs> edited the things that I love down to two things. I love these products so much that I don't know which one to pick first. Like I keep doing that with all my favorites. I think I'm going to talk about this one first. It's from L'Oreal Professional. It's their silver shampoo. I actually thought this was going to be silver but no. It's for silver hair and it is purple people look at that it's so cool so basically I soak my ends of my hair in this to kind of keep the silver and it kind of helps keeping the yellow keep the yellow tones out my hair looks much more yellow I think now on camera because I'm wearing white when I wear black it looks more silver it's kind of weird how 
it colors work like that but yeah I really like this it keeps it really silver and you guys did actually say at the beginning of the month my hair and like my Instagrams and stuff my hair was looking really dry and damaged and I think now it looks much better and like much more healthy and I think that's definitely with help of this because this colors made my hair much more glossy the color at the top I've been finding it harder and harder to get texture in my hair just because I think the top bits of my hair is so much more nourished than they used to be when it was highlighted so I've been using this fudge urban back comb in a can first of all it smells so good it smells of pear and sweet vanilla so if you like vanilla I am obsessed with vanilla if something says vanilla I would know I will love it Oh, it just smells so good. I love that smell so much. And it just gives your hair, let's just do a little demo up in here, a lot of nice texture. But it's kind of like easy breezy texture. I spoke about the Next Day Hair by L'Oreal Professional recently. That's more like an oomph of texture. That's just like, I don't own a hairbrush and I don't intend to. This is just like, I need a bit of volume, help me. So I have a couple of body favorites. My first one is the Mio Liquid Yoga. I love the Liquid Yoga Bath Soak. It is so relaxing. I had a bath with it actually last night and it's just so nice. I love it. It's so relaxing and soothing. And this is the Stress-Free Space Spray. I've been keeping this by my bed. I literally spray myself. I spray my bed. I spray anything that can be sprayed. Like I literally spray my body and it's so potent, but it's so, almost like sinus clearing and relaxing and if I honestly think this works like I do think this makes me feel calmer inside but I don't know if it's just like a psychological thing or not. I literally just found my love of my life body moisturizer the La Vanilla Vanilla one but I found something more hydrating and more long lasting on the skin in terms of hydration and that's the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour body cream. It's an intensive moisturizing body treatment this doesn't really smell particularly of anything. The reason I love the La Vanilla one is because it just keeps the scent lingers on your skin for ages. But what I noticed about this is if I apply it in the morning, like the next morning, as in 24 hours later, I'll still feel the smoothness on my skin. Like it is seriously, seriously hydrating, but it doesn't leave a sticky film and it doesn't take ages to dry. It actually dries like almost instantly and it doesn't take ages to like work into your skin. So for something that hydrating to have all those kind of like properties in it where you don't have to spend like four days being like, mah, 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 then I really, really like it. I feel like I say that in all my, the end of the sentences and all my favorites. Like, I really, really like it. It's like, duh, Amelia, this is a favorites video. <laughs> I have one nail care favorite this month, and that is because a very special face friend is on the packaging. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this feels so weird. It's not me, but like, I'm like, oh my God, I know her. Like, I speak to her every day. Like, that is so cool. Like, it's so cool. Anyway, if you don't know who she is, it's my friend Estee. She has this awesome nail art kit. She also has a YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, go and subscribe. I will link her below. But she has this nail art kit that she bought out this month with the Body Shop. The three shades in here are right up my street. There's like a minky shade, a blue and a purple, and also a nail art pen that seems to have fallen back here somewhere. Come on out. There we go, a little nail art pen. Oh no, everything's falling. Crap. I just love the colors in here. I mentioned the Body Shop polishes before. I think they're so, so good. And the pigmentation, the kind of, not pigmentation, the opacity of the colors is just fantastic. You can get away with doing one layer, people. I'm just so happy for her and proud of her. And it's so cool to see her do her thing. So make sure you guys check it out. I will link it below. I don't know where to start with this news. Huh? Okay, number one is that I will be doing Vlogmas this year. So every day from the 1st to the 25th, of December there will be a video going up on my channel so it will be at 5 p.m. so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to catch up on all my vlogs and see what I'm getting up to I have a fun trip planned and also which leads me on to my next thing I don't want to give away too much because I'm gonna say the reason for having this event on the first day of vlogmas but I'm going to be having an event in London and it's hopefully going to be a really fun event. It's going to be a theme party, so make sure you guys stay tuned on the 1st of December because I will be announcing where you can get tickets because numbers are limited. I'm so excited. Hopefully it means I get to meet a lot of you and we're going to be doing something really good. So I'll be saying more about that on the 1st of December, but just a heads up that that is going out 
on the 1st of December. The other thing I wanted to say is every day in December I will also be doing giveaways. So there are going to be 25 giveaways in December. I have like five of my favorite palettes <laughs> to give away. I bought so much like Chanel stuff. It's all stuff I love and it's like really luxury, gorgeous Christmassy things. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. I'm going to be doing them not only on my vlogs because YouTube doesn't let you really do giveaways. So I'm going to be doing them on Instagram, Snapchat. So make sure you guys are following me on there if you want to partake in the giveaways. I am so excited for December, not just because it's holiday season as you can see here behind me. I'm not just doing like some weird dance or anything. Well I am, but also I'm not. I was trying to show you the decorations. I'm rambling because I'm just too excited about December so I'm probably gonna go now make sure you guys stay tuned every day in December 5 p.m. for a video I'm doing more little weird dances okay it's officially time to go I'm going goodbye <laughs> So seeing as I recently dyed my hair, I wanted to do a hair tutorial and I thought about this one for a while. It's gonna be five really simple, really easy, lazy girl hairstyles. Well, you put your foot <laughs> underneath my foot, it wasn't very much. Oh yeah, I did you that. Were, you did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, ready? So we were basically, so we decided what to do was so yeah. we're gonna jump into each other's channels because yeah. that's basically what and we And no do. one's done, you figured out 